All right, here we go on the way to Florida. 110 birds, 110 from the boogie down. All right, all right. This is the second letter I took in three years. The first yeah. letter he gave me, they're still out there doing their shit. Yep, yeah, there you go. I know, all right. rich. There you go. There you go, middles of mine right here. And then those are black. Giving his away. He gave away 46 or 47, I believe. I counted. Looks like a bloodline though. And yeah, they still my bloodline. Same, 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 line. same birds that I got here. It's the same, same birds. Same kind of birds. So they go into Florida. Big RV across the street. Let me take a video of that. So there you go, Will, right there. You're going to come get the birds. You're going to find a spot to put them in. The big they're RV going, they're going on the way to Florida. You know what I mean? There they go. It's 100 and how many, which? 110. 110. There you go. So they're all packed up. I don't know how you're going to do this. You want to add more in here, take a box away. I don't know what you want to do. But I packed them best I could. And they all say which they are. You wanted to know right. where they're from. So they all mark. Look, it says black. So, so. It what says black, mean? black home, black. It right. says me. She's Richie. Where's the, where's the home? Huh? The home? Homers are in that box down there. So put these. His homers. Put My homers are mixed in there with those. That, uh, that, that pay, I got you four homers. Right, the one that you, that check that. That strawberry, the black check that you loved, long distance, and then you wanted that Armando looking homer. Right. That looks like that, that homer that cost $1.2 million. Right. That guy. And the blue so bar, okay? Put these okay? Oh, these are Club homers, too. Put them too. here, because I already know. Huh? Put these here. All right. Let's do it. Go ahead, that's, man. That's, that's rich. Don't that's be afraid to do that. That's Grab them. Make sure they don't get out. All right, so you're going to pack them, move them over to that carrier. How many are here, Rich, in this box? It says it right there. Nine. Nine. All right, I'm going to put all you to see you guys. We're coming back next year to pick up 300. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna buy, that's how we're breeding right by now. All right, look at this, guys. Get ready to go, man. Look at that. That's the driver right there. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. And the big boy is sleeping. Big boy right sleeping there. already. He ain't playing. He know what he's talking about. There you go. Nice RV. Look at this, man. Look at that. Yeah. Look at this, man. You got the mob right here. Look at that. Look at all that, man. They got a whole mob that they got from me and Black. There you go. Looking good. Anyway, guys, drive safe. And I hope you'll get there fast. And, you know, whoever sleeps the most gets there fastest because you don't know. You wake up, you're already there. I'm going to drive at night. When I say welcome to Florida, I call somebody. There you go. You know what's good about. All right, so my boys are on the way back to Florida with 112 birds. Um, flying a little stock right there about it's about 35 40 birds There's some more flying around there's a few inside uh, most of them in the middle coop right here put some nice uh beautiful looking birds i put them in there because i want to breed <laughs> and i want to lock those down for the winter so i'm gonna have some of these up there flying i'm gonna take some off of that coop and i'm gonna have them flying so I'm probably going to put everything inside that coop right there where I'm pointing at. And I'm going to remove everything that I'm going to fly from here and what I'm not going to fly from there. Just vice versa, put it over there and then split the heads in the cop between that coop and that last coop over there. So that's the plan, okay? But over here, it's only a few I'm going to take out. I, again, a few I'm going to take out. So it's going to be a, probably a stock about fly in the winter about 75 birds something like that the rest will be locked up and you know of course the hawk is gonna maybe catch some and uh, it's only get less and less I think it's about 75 from 60 to 75 I don't know somewhere around there I'm still gonna fly a nice bunch no matter what doesn't mean I won't let out the other ones sometime but sooner or later I will stop once they're in too long, like right there, them birds right there, once they're in too long, I won't let them out. Like right now, I can let them out right now. Holy shape, but I don't want to. I'll fly these. And uh, 
So yes, matter of fact, let me go let out the other coat. <laughs> let out the other stock. From that coop. <clears throat> See? It's a nice bunch in there. And the other bunch on top. That I had out already. Okay. Got a lot of rollers in here though, right here. We'll put some of them away. We're breeding. Not for breeding yet, but prepare for breeding for next year. Or if I don't breed them, fly them next year. They all, most of them are from this year, so they'll definitely perform better next year. But yeah, let's let those out. And uh, these are like a lot of Birmingham's. Silver red bars, Isabella's, couple of Lavats. But mostly Birmingham's, I think. And then up there is all the Grizzles and Canadians. There's some Budapest. Couple Budapest. Alright, so I got rid of, well, I rehomed almost that many birds that are flying right there. I mean, that's about. The amount that we're taking the flow, the hundred is about a hundred, hundred and ten. This is about a hundred, I think. Can't really tell. I mean, looks like it is, but I, but I gave away more than half. Oh man, there's birds in the dots right now. I see birds way up there. Wow. I didn't even realize that it's birds way up on top. I don't know what happened that they got up there, but maybe they were flying before I came to the back and chased up because I see birds way up in the dots, a few of them. You know? But these things are going up. Let me zoom in. There you go. Let me zoom in some more. I'm really zoomed in. Oh, I can't zoom in no more. That's it. All right, so I'm zoomed in all the way. Big way up. But I did see a bird or two way up there. There were probably two birds out that went up on their own. But I didn't even know where up. I saw them. I don't know where they are now, but I did see two of them. So yeah, that stock is up. Nice stock. Look at that. End of Diddy Dots. Doing that thing as always. Like I said, this is the best time to fly, man. And the weather's at like 70s and the 60s are all bad. 50s are great weather to fly. So, this is the post video of the Florida birds that were, uh, that were rehomed for Florida. So, my boys took 110 birds. Packed up nicely. In the RV, it should be home in Florida to their new home. I figure noon tomorrow, Orlando, Florida. So they should be all right. I packed them up best I could, give them all waters, and they should be all right. All right? That's like overnight shipping, you know what I mean? But it's taking a home stock. All right, so these things are rocking. I see a. Uh, I think that's a bald eagle up there, young one. Yep, that's what that is. They're a little afraid of that, I think. So, a couple of babies right here rolling, see them? A couple of rollers right here. Again, they're young from this year, so they break out the stock and they roll. See, there's birds in the Diddy Dots, man, I see them. They're way up there. I see three of them, four of them, just way, way up. So yeah, so there's more birds than that. There's some more way up there, man. I see them rolling, two of the rollers and stuff. You know what I mean, rolling way up there. So yeah, man, so again, rehomed around what, 65, 66 birds? Or something like that. 68 birds, almost 70 birds I rehomed. Let's put it like that. The other guy did about 40 something. Came out to 110, so. All right, so he took some nice ones. He took some silvers with gold bars and, and, and Isabella's and couple of vats and yellows had two or three yellow danes he took those you know he wanted them you know 
took a couple of blacks that I had. One that was a stray that I caught not long ago. Took that also. But yeah, these th these things are coming down. So uh, I decided to fly some birds after they left. They just left, and uh, just want to let these out. I'm gonna get some airspace, some airtime. I met, and uh, you know, I'm gonna get some airtime and test that. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna have to organize the coops, see what I'm gonna do. But like again, I'm gonna have to put a stock in that coop over there. But now I think I'm still gonna fly all of them. Maybe you know what I mean? I'm just trying not to lose any of those prints that I got there. Some other special birds I got with go bars and all that. Trying to like not lose those, so I'm probably just gonna remove them from the bunch and uh, use them back out. You know, um, remove them from the uh, from the flying stock and just put them aside. Yeah. Got that yellow Levada in there. I got, a, I got a little yellow Levada. I got it done. I'm gonna take those out. I have bad luck with the yellow Levats, man. They always take them. And that's my last one, so I'm gonna try to get a mate for her. Cause I make got taken, so let's see if I get her another yellow or done. But I think both done's I got a hen. So I'm gonna do that. Like I said, he took a lot of birds, so I gotta see what I got left as far as pairing this and pairing that. You know what I mean? I know he broke up some pairs that were good. He just didn't know. He just took whatever he wanted. You know? And that's that. Just don't go in there, take whatever you want. That's what he did. And he took some special birds too, man. So. You know, nice ones. But it's my boy, so I want him to uh, have some good birds out there. Fly them, you know what I mean? Fly some birds. He's gonna send me video too. Of them things flying out there once he gets them established. Gets his new coop going. Split them up the right. Oh, become the falcon. It's a, it's a red tail, which I don't care about, but right on top of that, there's a falcon. So I don't know if he's gonna go after the red tail, but he's gonna come and hit me. Let's see. Behind the red tail. Let me zoom in. Alright, yeah, he's looking at the red tail. For whatever reason. Red tails. I don't think they really care about them. They just show themselves. I've never seen them fight one that I remember, but red tail's bigger. Uh, Falcon is uh, more devastating, I, I believe. As far as chasing the birds, he's faster. So he's looking at the birds now. What about the red tail? Red tail left. Now he's right on top, and they are birds over him. A couple birds over him, so it's probably better that things come down and uh, call it a day. Let him chill. In fact, let me get out these turkey's tumblers. Hold on. There you go. Open the coop for the turkey's tumblers. Bring them down. There you go. They'll come out. They'll flap around. And bring the birds down. Making sure that that uh, falcon doesn't get any any uh, any prey. At least not one of my birds. Oh, baby turkey tumbler, youngster. Yeah. When they get older, they'll start to flip a lot. Some of them already flipping. You know what I mean? I just never get them right on uh, on video. It's like when I'm not recording them, it's like they do it, like, it's weird. Oh, one right there. Went right up. There you go. Come on, do a little bit of tumbling like you guys do. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, a lot of smacking. It's a tumbling. It's the flipping. So they do. They hover like that and they flip, 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 flip. That's what they do. Some of them don't know how to do it too good yet, but some of them do it very well. Had a bird that I had to uh, trim her tips down because she goes up to the top. Up there, she can't come down flipping too much. I just want her babies. I don't really need to see her flipping. She bred me a lot of those. That's why I know they all do the same thing. They all flip a lot. Or they're going to flip a lot. When the time comes. They get older, the more they'll flip. They're more comfortable. Not doing it either. A lot of times I'm sitting here, they do this and they flip. I'm not seeing the flips, but they do it. Trust me. I have a video or two out there. 
to show you. But that's what they do. down the uh, grip. Yeah, put out the grip. See if I put a little feet out there. Put them all to come down. Yeah. Put some feet down. So sit back, relax. Oh there you go, that one was flipping. Missed it. Sit back, relax and uh let them come down to eat. Hopefully they flip. I'm flipping that Maybe another day. See birds coming down from the dots, like I said, the birds way up there. Look at this, see? Birmingham. Birmingham. See them flipping? They don't flipping? Birmingham. Oh, let me get him. Oh, no, he's right there. Let me zoom in. There you go. There you go. Right there, you sit down now. Rolls. Tumbles, rolls, does it all. There you go, even dots. Way up there, man. A few of them. And two others came down already. So he came down. That one that was way up there. These are the turkeys tumblers. Got the booties, grizzles and Canadians out. Turkish tumbler, then I got the combo stock out. That has a lot of Birmingham's in it. And like I said, a lot of the turkey tumblers are not in super shape and a lot of them are super young like that one right there, hovering. Um, they'll eventually start tumbling a lot. Um, especially those duns and the silver dun ones because the mothers are super, super, super tumble. So, uh, they'll get it together. My boy took some turkey tumblers too to Florida. A um, couple pairs. So, um, I mean one pair, the other two were not made it, but he took I gave him two other ones. Told him to beat out of the other ones and then vice versa, start making them up back and forth. And you can get a stock of them. But yeah, so he really wanted more of the flying birds. He just wanted a few turkeys to him. A couple of Birmingham's to throw. He got that. I don't know, he wanted a lot of Canadians and grizzlies. He wanted to see them things grow out, but he likes to take them out. And he got took a lot of homers too. So yeah, so um, the gang got the birds out. And. Um, Boys on the way up. A stock of 10 birds. Stock of 10, 110 birds. Stock of 110. You know, Canadians and grizzles. That guy was tumbling just now. Missed it again. Um, and then I got the combo stock out. And I got all of these. I got another stock in the middle. And then I got the uh, kid birds right here. Okay, so. Still have a bunch of birds and um, got a little feed out there, a little munch out of it, and that's where we are. This is after my boy left, or my boys left to Florida with, with 110 birds. So they got birds over there already, so now they're bringing a new stock, a new addition to those birds they already have. And this time he's gonna actually uh, make different sections to make sure he gets certain breeds and separates them like I do you know I mean? and um, try to get a kind of bird instead of just having them all in there um, sometimes bring the some some mixed birds sometimes it happens and it's going to uh, keep the Izzy with the Izzy's and uh, Birmingham's with the Birmingham's, you know, turkey stumbles, the turkey stumbles, booty, like those white booties. 
you got a pair of those, so he'll breed and he'll uh, keep them together, you know what I mean? Breed out of them. As he should. And we got them to sit back, watch the birds, eat a little bit, flap around. Hopefully, these turkey something to do a little flipping today. And, um, and, um, call it a day. Have a good evening, great day, and, um, thanks for watching. Later.